you're wondering what home health is. People use home health, home care, home care at home. There's so many different words. We're gonna break down what home health is in literally less than three minutes. Let's go. We're gonna break down home health into two categories, non-medical and medical home care. Let's talk about non-medical real quick. When it comes to non-medical, now you're talking about someone helping with ADLs, cooking, bathing, things at home that doesn't require a skilled need. Skilled need, nursing, physical therapy, occupational therapy, that's the medical side. So non-medical is where you hire someone and the payers are usually private pay, you're paying cash or long-term care insurance. And usually you partner with a non-medical home care company, and that's what they specialize in. They specialize specifically non-skilled care. You work with them, pay transactionally. How many hours you need, you talk to them, and then you get someone to come in your home and to take care of you or your loved one. But this is non-skilled home care. Now let's talk about skilled home care. And this is called home health care. And home health care is governed by different payers. You've got Medicare, you've got managed care insurances like Blue Cross Blue Shield, Aetna, Humana, Cigna, right? And then you've got other commercial plans that are associated with probably where you work at. Maybe they offer specific home health coverage underneath your health insurance. These are all in the realm of skilled or medical home care. Now, a doctor has to be a part of this process. So what happens is a doctor that is an MD or a DO or an NP or PA is the one that writes the order to state, hey, I think this person needs home health. Now there's guidelines that have to be followed in, in that process. And so usually what happens, the doctor writes the order, says, hey, this person needs skilled nursing, PT, OT, and then those clinicians come to your home for X amount of times. If it's a Medicare certified agency, they've got a window of 60 days that they're gonna be there. They're not gonna be there forever, but they're gonna work with you or your loved one and create a plan for 60 days. If those goals are met during those 60 days, then it's probably going to be a discharge at the end of those 60 days. If it's not met and you're still still there's still things that need to be done, then a recertification will occur. And that's usually what happens in that home health. But there has to be a doctor who's ordering it and overseeing everything that that home health does that's medically skilled home health, everything that they do during those 60 days. So how do you know if you qualify for home health? Well, if you're struggling with falling, or you're having issues with walking, or you just recently got diagnosed with a new diagnosis and you have no idea what it is, and you have difficulty moving in and out from home, those are some qualifiers for you. If you wanna get care started, reach out to your PCP and let them know, see if you qualify. There's a couple criteria. You have to be homebound, which is hard for you to leave the, the home. So if you have difficulty leaving the home and you're using a walker or an assistive device, those are some key, key areas where you may need home health to get you going, to get you stronger, and to help you through this speci specific season in your life. And reach out to your doctor, let him write the order, and then go from there. Now, who's the team that comes into the home for skilled care? You've got a nurse, also an aide. Now, the aide's not there for a lot. It's usually just there to kind of help here and there. You've got physical therapy. You've got occupational therapy. You can order speech therapy. You can order MSW, but most of the time an MSW is there to kind of help point you in the right direction for financial assistance, maybe do a phone call uh, for Meals on Wheels, things like that. And that's the team that you really have for that for those 60 days. And it all depends on the need and if you are improving and also what insurance may authorize. Medicare has its own regulations, and then you also have different payers that have sometimes their own, uh, but really it's about how well are you progressing towards independence. That's the goal of home health. I hope this helps. I don't know if it was underneath the three minutes, like I said, but uh, this is a really quick summary. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Our information's in the link. Have a good one, and that was home health, hopefully in three minutes, I'm not sure. I don't know.